dear friend welcome to the lecture series in electromagnetic fields and waves today's topic is relationship between electric and magnetic fields under the title of electromagnetic wave characteristics in this video lecture we will be able to learn to derive the expression for e tau naught we will prove that e bar dot h bar equal to 0 and we also prove that e bar cross h bar equal to e square by eta a z bar Coming to characteristic impedance or intrinsic impedance, when an electromagnetic wave is propagating in a medium, the ratio between the electric field and magnetic field is a constant and is called as intrinsic impedance or characteristic impedance and also called as wave impedance denoted by eta naught. So we can write the eta naught equal to E bar by H bar. Consider a plane wave propagating in the forward z direction in lossless medium. For a uniform plane wave propagating along the z direction, the conditions are such that the field components along the direction of the propagation will be zero and the x and y are independent to each other. And also the field components are dependent on the z as well as the time t. So that along the direction of propagation, the field components of the electric field and magnetic field, they are EZ and HZ will be zero. Now the X component of the electric field with respect to Y is zero. The Y component of the electric field with respect to X is zero. Now the X component of the magnetic field with respect to Y is zero. And the Y component of the magnetic field with respect to X is zero. We know that the Maxwell's equations for a lossless medium are del cross h bar equal to epsilon dou e bar over dou t. We consider this one as equation one. Del cross e bar equal to minus mu dou h bar over dou t, considering this as equation number two. Expanding equation one in Cartesian coordinates, we get the determinant form here. So here the first row takes x bar ay bar az bar second row takes dou over dou x dou over dou y dou over dou z hx hy hz or the third row component which are equal to epsilon of dou ex over dou t ax bar plus dou ey over dou t ay bar plus dou ez over dou t az bar so here e bar is the vector and we can write in Cartesian coordinates as E bar equal to EX, AX bar plus EY, AY bar plus EZ, AZ bar. Now, calculating this above expression, we get AX bar of dou HZ over dou Y minus dou HY over dou Z minus AY bar of dou HZ over dou X minus dou HX by dou Z plus AZ bar of dou hy over dou x minus dou hx over dou y which is equal to epsilon of dou ex over dou t ax bar plus dou ey over dou t ay bar plus dou ez over dou t az bar. Now substituting the conditions we get that the hz components will be zero and ez component will be zero. So that here we can write that zero in place of ez. Now this particular component becomes zero and here also the component becomes zero and the Y component of the magnetic field with respect to X is zero. The X component of the magnetic field with respect to Y is zero and here this particular term also becomes zero. Now the simplified expression that we get as AX bar of minus dou HY over dou Z minus AY bar of minus dou HX over dou Z which is equal to epsilon of dou ex over dou t ax bar plus dou ey by dou t ay bar. Now rewriting this expression we get minus of dou hy over dou z ax bar plus dou hx over dou z ay bar which is equal to epsilon of dou ex over dou t ax bar plus dou ey over dou t ay bar and treating this one equation 3. Similarly expanding equation 2 we get the determinant form again. So here the first row takes AX bar, AY bar, AZ bar. Second row takes dou over dou X, dou over dou Y, dou over dou Z 
third row take ex ey ez which are equal to minus of mu of do hx over do t x bar plus do hy over do t ay bar plus do hz over do t az bar now expanding this expression again we will be getting ax bar of do ez over do y minus do ey over do z minus ay bar of do ez over do x minus do ex over do z plus az bar of do ey over do x minus do ex over do y which is equal to minus of mu do hx over do t x bar plus do hy over do t ay bar plus do hz over do t az bar now substituting the conditions we get the ez component as 0 and hz component as 0 so that here we get this particular term as 0 and here this term also 0 and here the y component of the electric field with respect to x is 0 and the x component of the electric field with respect to y is 0 and here this particular term also becomes 0 now the remaining expression that we obtained is x bar of minus do ey over do z minus ay bar of minus do ex over do z which is equal to minus of mu of do hx over do t ax bar plus do hy over do t ay bar rewriting this expression we get minus of do ey over do z ax bar plus do ex over do z ay bar equals to minus of mu of do hx over do t ax bar plus do hy over do t ay bar so now we are multiplying this minus mu inside so that we will be getting as minus of mu do hx over do t x bar minus mu do hy over do t ay bar treating this one as equation number 4 from equations 3 and 4 equating with the respective unit vector components with phase or notations we get minus of do hy over do z equal to epsilon do ex over do t which is equal to j omega epsilon ex as do by do t will be considered as j omega now do hx over do z equal to epsilon do ey over do t which is equal to j omega epsilon ey do ey over do z equal to mu do hx over do t which is equal to j omega mu hx and do ex over do z which is equal to minus of mu do hy over do t which is equal to minus j omega mu hy and we consider this one as equation number 5 since the wave is propagating in the forward z direction the electric field component is ex equal to ex of z which is equal to e plus e power minus j beta z we are treating that the electric field is present along the x axis and it is propagating along the z axis now differentiating this ex with respect to z we get do ex over do z equal to e plus e power minus j beta z as it is and for this exponential the differentiation that we get as minus j beta now e plus e power minus j beta z is nothing but ex so that we have written as do ex over do z equal to minus j beta ex from equation 5 we know do ex by do z equal to minus of mu do hy over do t which is equal to minus j omega mu hy here treating that do ex over do z equal to minus j beta ex so we are writing do ex by do z which is equal to minus of j beta ex which is also equal to minus j omega mu hy so that minus j beta ex will be equal to minus j omega mu hy now we are getting as beta ex equal to omega mu hy bringing this hy towards the left side and it appears in the denominator so ex to hy equal to omega mu by beta so ex over hy will be equal to omega mu over omega square root of mu epsilon as we know that beta equal to omega of square root of mu epsilon so here we can write ex over hy will be equal to square root of mu over epsilon and if we interchange the x and y terms so here we get 
ey over h x will be equal to minus half square root of mu over epsilon. So as per the definition, we can write eta equal to square root of mu over epsilon, and mu and epsilon can be also written as square root of mu naught mu r over epsilon naught epsilon r. For free space, mu r equal to one, epsilon r equal to one, mu naught equal to four pi into ten power minus seven. Epsilon not equal to 8.854 into 10 power minus 12, so that eta tends to eta not. That eta becomes eta not now. So we can write eta not equal to square root of mu not over epsilon not. When we substitute the values for the corresponding mu not and epsilon not, that value will be getting as 120 pi, and it is also equivalent to 377 ohm. This way, the electric field and magnetic field are related to the Intrinsic impedance. Now, the electric field and magnetic field are perpendicular to each other. So here, if E bar dot H bar equal to zero, it is said to be electric and magnetic fields are perpendicular to each other. Now, let us consider the electric field vector E bar, which is equal to E x A x bar plus E y A y bar plus E z A z bar, and H bar equal to H x A x bar plus H y A y bar plus H Z A Z bar. Now, when we take the dot product between these two fields, then E X A X bar plus E Y A Y bar plus E Z A Z bar dot H X A X bar plus H Y A Y bar plus H Z A Z bar. Now, the electric electromagnetic wave is propagating in the z direction as we considered. So, the field components along the propagation of the direction of that particular wave will be treated to be zero. So here, E Z component becomes zero and H Z component becomes zero, and we left over with only X and Y component. Now the dot product between the X and Y components will be E X H X of A X bar dot A X bar plus E Y H Y A Y bar dot A Y bar. Now we know that the dot product between any dissimilar unit vectors will be zero, and the similar unit vectors will be always one. So that we are having a x bar dot a x bar as one and a y bar dot a y bar as one and remaining combination will be zero. So here e bar dot h bar equal to e x h x plus e y h y. We know that e x by h y equal to square root of mu over epsilon and e y over h x equal to minus of square root of mu over epsilon. Now e bar dot h bar equal to writing this. E x equal to h y multiplied with square root of mu over epsilon. In the same way, writing for e y, so that these two terms are rearranged, and now these two terms are same. Now they will be getting cancelled and leaving us e bar dot h bar equal to zero. So from this we can say that the electric field and magnetic field both are perpendicular to each other. Now coming to the third topic in the uh, session, we have the e bar cross h bar which represent the signal power let us consider the electric field in cartesian coordinate system e bar equal to e x h bar plus e y a y bar plus e z a z bar now h bar equal to h x a x bar plus h y a y bar plus h z a z bar if the wave is propagating in z direction so the field components in the direction of propagation is treated to be zero so e z equal to zero and H is equal to zero. Therefore, E bar becomes E x A x bar plus E y A y bar, and H bar becomes H x A x bar plus H y A y bar. Now, taking the cross product between the two fields, we get E x A x bar plus E y A y bar cross H x A x bar plus H y A y bar, which can also be written as uh, the determinant form as A x bar A y bar A z bar, which is the first row. Second row takes us E x E y. And E Z component is zero as the wave is propagating in the Z direction, H X and H Y, and H Z is zero as we know the wave is propagating in the Z direction. So the field component becomes zero there again. So here, E bar cross H bar equal to A X bar of E Y of zero minus H Y of zero minus A Y bar of E X of zero minus H X of zero plus A Z bar of E X H Y minus E Y H X. So here the terms become zero because they are multiplied with zero, and here also entire term becomes zero. 
they are multiplying with zero. So the leftover expression is e bar cross h bar equal to e x h y minus e y h x a z bar. From e x by h y equal to square root of mu over epsilon, and e y over h x will be equal to minus of square root of mu over epsilon. We can write e x equal to h y of square root of mu epsilon, and e y equal to minus of h x square root of mu over epsilon. Now e bar cross h bar equal to substituting the value of e x and e y in the above expression, then we get h y of square root of mu over epsilon of h y minus minus of h x square root of mu over epsilon h x in the direction of a z bar. Now e bar cross h bar equal to here we have h y term, so we can write h y square and square root of mu over epsilon plus here h x h x there and minus minus plus so plus h x square square root of mu epsilon in the direction of a z bar. So here e bar cross h bar equal to h y square plus h x square of square root of mu over epsilon a z bar. Now we know that h x square plus h y square is nothing but h square. So we can write e bar cross h bar equal to h square of square root of mu over epsilon a z bar. And eta is nothing but square root of mu over epsilon so that we can write e bar cross h bar equal to h square eta a z bar. And also we know that eta equal to e by h so that h can be written as e over eta. Now substituting that here we get e bar cross h bar equal to e bar over eta whole square eta a z bar. And finally we can write e bar cross h bar equal to e square over eta a z bar. And this particular expression tells that the power flow in a given direction and that is propagating in the direction of propagation that is z direction. Hope you understood the uh, various relationship between the electric field and magnetic field. Do like, comment, share and subscribe my channel for more technical content in electromagnetic fields and waves. Thanks for watching.